We all know that you don't take something that doesn't belong to you. That's stealing, of course. But in war, it happens all the time. It's called war booty, or a souvenir, if you will. But a Sioux Falls man is on a mission to fulfill a World War II veteran's dying wish and return something that wasn't his. John Mollison, who is a historian, has a model airplane just like the one fighter pilot Claude Hone flew in World War II. In 1944, a Japanese soldier blew himself up on an airstrip in Guam, hoping to disable an airplane and kill the pilot inside. That didn't happen, and what Claude Hone did following the explosion haunted him for decades. Claude did what you do when you're young and you're, you know, looking for a souvenir and he took the guy's wallet. I gotta be really delicate with this stuff. A wallet that contained pictures of Japanese soldiers, a couple of business cards, and an old beer label. When I saw the beer label, that really brought this story home for me. I mean, this, this wasn't just the dead enemy, this was a guy. Mollison says before Hone died, he had asked him to do him a favor. He said, um, he said, would you, if I give this to you, would you take this back to Japan, find the family or whatever? So Mollison has been on a mission for over 10 years now, trying to find a family member, a friend, or anyone who knew something about this wallet and its rightful owner. Unfortunately, Mollison hasn't been able to locate anyone. So now he's going to return to Guam and the old airstrip where the Japanese soldier died. He's been working with the National Park Service to locate a final resting place for this piece of history. If the National Park Service can't help me, you know, can't put, you know, get, create an exhibit for it or go through their process, I'm going to try to bury it at the old airfield. And I'm, I don't want a big ceremony. This is just, I just want to make, make good on my promise to Claude. And make good on the idea that this this soldier's memory is worth something. And Mollison flies out on the 17th next Friday, and we'll meet with the National Park Service on the 24th.